How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Kurt's Cocktails. My name is Kurt, and I am a non-bartender teaching other non-bartenders how to pretend to be bartenders. And today, we are going to an island escape and tackling the Pina Colada. Yes, the one in the very famous song, which I have had in my head this entire week, trying out recipes and prepping this episode. <laughs> um, the Pina Colada um, is a Puerto Rican drink. It was invented in the early 1950s. There are two hotels in Puerto Rico who are who uh, fight over which one claims to be the inventor of the pina colada. Um, the one that I think is the most accepted by everybody um, is the Hotel Carib Hilton. Um, the pina colada, like I said, was invented in the early 1950s. Um, the story that I am more familiar with, uh, as told by Cara Devine from Behind the Bar, is that the Hotel Curry Hilton had a drink called the Pina Fria, Pina Fria, uh, which is basically just rum and pineapple, um, frozen. And then in 1949, um, this guy got invented. This is Coco Lopez. This is a, a brand of cream of coconut. Um, and cream of coconut is the name of the product. It's not cream coconut, it's not coconut cream, it's cream of coconut. It's a unique product. Um, Coco Lopez invented the most famous brand in 1949. Everyone loved it. And in fact, the uh, Hotel Kyrie Pilton actually basically loved it so much they decided to add it to their Pina Fria and make what they called a Pina Colada, which means strained pineapple. I don't think the name is quite familiar with that, but whatever. Um, or quite related to that, but it is what it is. Um, I mean, rum... Coconut and pineapple have been a very famous combination for hundreds of years. Um, I know some people claim that a, a pirate invented the pina colada. That's not necessarily true. Um, however, I'm cleaning up my uh, garnish here. Don't mind me. Um, but really, again, the uh, pina colada, the most accepted story is that it was invented when uh, Coco Lopez was invented. Um, so it's just a couple ingredients, rum, pineapple, coconut, uh, some lime juice to get some sweetness and um, it's very easy to make there's you can do shaken you can do blended we're gonna do a variation on uh, shaken um, but we're gonna add some crushed ice so it'll have kind of a little bit of a blended feel to it so let's get cracking on it um, I'm gonna juice a lime first we're gonna use a little bit of lime juice in this because again the uh, Coco Lopez is very sweet so you want some of the uh, acidity from the lime juice to cut some of that sweetness so just Roll your lime and slice it. Take your citrus press, put the lime in. These are Persian limes. I don't know how much they're gonna juice. And uh, you don't want much, just want a quarter ounce. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Let's see if we can get a couple more drops out of that. Not quite a quarter ounce, but um, close enough. So we'll add that to our shaker. Next, we're gonna add the Coco Lopez. Um, this comes in a can. I just poured another can out into this bottle. Um, I put it in the fridge. It does congeal a little bit when it's in the, uh, when it's in cold. So you wanna shake up a little bit, kind of break up any lumps. Um, some bartenders, I think, put this on heat to warm it up a little bit. So it doesn't congeal, but really the congeal is not that bad, you just shake it up and it kind of shakes right out. Um, we wanna do three quarters of an ounce of this. By the way, this recipe is a, a hybrid recipe, kind of taking inspiration from both cocktail chemistry and the educated bar fly. Kind of like took both the recipes and made a little bit of an amalgam. I took my, the favorite parts that I had of it. So three quarters, my favorite parts of each. So uh, three quarters of an ounce of uh, Coco Lopez in your glass, this stuff, Mm. By the way, Coco Lopez tastes absolutely fucking amazing. So three quarters of an ounce of that, quarter ounce of lime juice. We're gonna do our uh, pineapple juice now. Obviously fresh is better, but store-bought's fine. Um, I personally like it more coconutty than pineapple-y, so I'm gonna do an ounce and a half. You can definitely go up to two ounces or even more if you want to. If you like pineapple, if you want, uh, but I'm gonna prefer to do mine more uh, more coconut than pineapple. 
So we're going to do an ounce and a half of pineapple. Now for the rum, uh, typically I've been doing this with Bacardi, two ounces, and that's fine. Um, rum's not the star of the show here. Rum's just making it boozy. <laughs> um, but uh, so I you hit Barfly, uh, Leandro from that channel, use both white rum and this uh, Appleton Estate signature blend. And so half and half, one ounce each. So uh, I'm gonna try that out. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it personally, but yeah, why not? But you can totally do two ounces of white rum if you have it. So the ounce of the white rum Bacardi. And an ounce of the Appleton Signature. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like. I'll move this uh, crap out the way. So that's what we got right now, that's what we're working with. So for shaking, um, I wanna do what's called a lip shake. This is a crushed ice. I took a bunch of ice and pulverized it with a meat tenderizer. I'm gonna take a tiny bit, a little small handful or a little scoop full. Put it in there. Take the big half of our shaker. And we're just gonna really just shake this really hard. Um, pop and lock and shake. Just shake it hard. Um, aerate the pineapple, aerate the ingredients. And we're gonna put it into our uh, rocks glass and put a lot more uh, crushed ice in there. So again, pop, lock and shake. Again, you want to shake it hard, you want to get a lot of aeration in there, aerate the pineapple. Make it nice and fluffy. Totally fine if, these, if this all this ice uh, dilutes and uh, melts. You're not going to dilute it that much. There we go. Whack it to break the seal. Move that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and fill this with uh, crushed ice. And then just uh, pour it over. That looks good. And then top it off some crushed ice. And also, uh, I'm totally gonna put a straw in this by the end, by when I stop recording this. I just happened to have forgotten to uh, take a straw out. So we're just gonna pack that with ice. And for the garnish, just take a chunk of pineapple, slice in it. Put it off to the side. And there, you got a pina colada. Mmm, that was good. Oh, that's really good. That, at the uh, Appleton Estate, that's actually a good, good call right there. Again, if you just have Bacardi, don't buy a new rum for it. Just use two ounces of Bacardi, but if you have the apple, if you have both, definitely do a half and half. And um, again, you can add another half ounce of pineapple juice if you want yours more pineapple-y. I like mine more coconutty. so this is great. Uh, pina colada, make it, drink it, they're fucking good. Catch you at the next one. Bye.